What's up, everybody? I'm the Cyber Mentor, and today I'm going to teach you how to subnet. Let's go. Before we talk about subnetting, let's talk about what is a subnet. Now, a subnet is a sub network. Imagine you have a lot of devices, could be cell phones, could be computers, could be printers, doesn't matter. They're all taking up an IP address on your network. Well, you need to configure on these networks how many devices that you can have within one network, or maybe you want to have multiple networks with multiple devices. For that, we need subnetting. Now, there are two ways to show subnetting. One is called a subnet mask, which is the format you see here. The other is called CIDR notation, which is the format you see here with the slash 24 at the end of it. Both of these are a very common subnet, the slash 24 network or the 255.255.255.0. Now, decimal notation can also be translated into what's called binary notation, where we have ones and zeros, ones being on switches, zeros being off switches. In order to get a better feel for this, we're going to use our trusty friend Microsoft Excel. Now, imagine we have 255, 255, 255, 0, just laid out vertically. Now, we have 8 bits, okay, 8, 16, 24, 32, and each decimal that equals 255 here is comprised of these 8 bits, ones or zeros, on or off. Now, we can start from 128 on the first, and then we divide by 2, 64, 32, all the way down to 1. Now, every time a 1 or an on switch is flipped on, we count that number. So if we had just 1 and 2 flipped on, we would count just those first two numbers. We can do that by just adding zeros here, and we see 128 plus 64 is 192. So this is how we get our notation. Now, the thing to point out is once a 0 occurs, a 1 cannot occur after that. So once a zero occurs here, the rest of these, all of these moving forward would be zero, which is why you see once this first zero happens over here, the rest are zero. If we had a zero, a few zeros here, let's just count that up, we would have a notation that looks like this, 255, 255, 224, zero. And what would this be? This would actually be a slash 19 network. How do I know that? Eight plus eight is 16 plus one, two, three is 19. So when we have a slash network, like they had a slash 24 earlier, we're counting the number of on switches. That's all we have to think about it, on switches, okay? When we're gonna count host, which is where this becomes important, we're gonna count the off switches, which gives us the amount of hosts that we can have and comprises our network. Now we're gonna talk about that in the next video, when we tie this all together, I show you a way to do this within two to three minutes, and we're going to see how it all works out. So I'll catch you over in part two. What's up, everybody? Cyber Mentor back again here for part two of our subnetting lesson. Let's go ahead and get started. If you recall from the first video, we have CIDR notation. In this example, we have a slash 24 network, which means we have 24 on bits and eight off bits. In order to find the number of hosts, we can set x equals to 2 to the off bit power. In this case, we have 8 as the off bit, so we have 2 to the 8th power, which is equal to 256. Once we know x, we subtract 2 for the broadcast ID and the network ID, which are reserved, which means that we can have 254 hosts in a slash 24 network. Now let's make this a lot easier. Okay, here's my cheat sheet, and I'm going to show you this in two minutes. Remember the 128 that we started with, divided by 2, 64, 32, all the way down. These were when our bits were on or off. And if all of our bits are on, they equal up to 255. So when you start out making your handwritten sheet, you start with 128, divide by 2, all the way down to 1. Then start with 128 again and add upward. So add 64 becomes 192. Add 32 becomes 224. Do that until you get 255. Now you have eight columns and then create four rows above that, 1 through 8, 9 through 16, 17 through 24, and 25 through 32. The host row will tell you how many hosts are available in that slash network. So in this case, if we go up to 256, or slash 24, we see 256. If we go to slash 23, we see 512. All we're doing is doubling backwards. So we can go 512, 1024, 2048, and just write this out by hand doing quick mental math. The other part here is a subnet mask. Whatever column we end up in is where our subnet mask would be. So on a slash 21, for example, we say, hey, we know 255, 255. Now we have an X to fill in, and that X is going to be 248 because this is where the ones continuously add up. Super simple. Once we've 
flipped all the bits on, we know where we need to go. And then we know once we flip the switch off, no more of them can be enabled, right? So that comes from video one. Here we can see now that we have these. Let's try this in a different format. Let's try a slash 28. Here at slash 28, we can have 16 hosts minus two. So we can have 14 total because we subtract the network ID and the broadcast, first address, last address, typically. And we'll say we have a subnet mask of 255, 255, 255, 240. Super simple. You can write this out by hand. I recommend trying it a few times, getting it down, understanding it, and then doing some practice subnetting online. Thank you for watching this video. To see more like this, please do check out my YouTube channel at youtube.com slash thecybermentor. Thank you.